Welcome to Cake and Is Special, my name is Lauren and this week I wanted to do another autumn theme video, so I've decided to make this squirrel cake topper. So here we go. Squirrels would class as an autumn theme, wouldn't they? So I'm starting with some woodland brown modelling paste. I usually use Renshaw's modelling paste, but this week I'm going for Serencino because I got some at Cake International last week, so I'm desperate to try it out. So I'm starting with a ball and I'm going to use my hands to work it up. Then I take my finger and run it along the centre to pull in a waist. And then pull out a neck. Now I can take a lollipop stick and insert it all the way through the body. Then I take my sculpting tool and draw in almost two semicircles, one on either side, for the thighs. I'm going to stick the body to a little cake card, just using a little bit of water for glue. For my squirrel's tail, I take more of my modelling paste and create a long petal shape. Then at the wider end, I curl it over. and then use my sculpting tool to score in some fur lines. And then I can stick this to the body with just a little bit of water. I finish the fur lines when the tail is stuck in place, just so I can get the areas where I was actually holding on to it. Now I take some autumn leaf colour modelling paste and roll it into another long petal shape. This is going to be for my squirrel's belly, so I just cut it down to the shape that I want and then stick that in place. I also add another petal shape to the top of the chest and score in some fur lines so it's like he's got a fluffy chest. I wanted my squirrel to have an acorn, so I take some caramel ivory coloured modelling paste and create almost a cone. Then I take another piece and push my balling tool into it to create like a hat for the flat end of the cone. I have to use my knife to cut a little of the nut away so that I can stick this flat to the squirrel. When the acorn is stuck in place, I use my sculpting tool to add the little triangles into the bottom part of the shell. For the feet, I go back to my woodland brown modelling paste and create two little petal shapes. I'm leaving them a little thicker at the top so it looks like the toes are curled over. I stick them right at the front of the squirrel so it looks like the squirrel sat down. For the head I take another ball of my woodland brown modelling paste and I run my finger along the centre. I use my balling tool to push in some eye sockets and I also drag my finger along the top to create an indent in the centre of the head. I then take my autumn leaf colour modelling paste and stick a piece to the bottom half of the face. I use a tiny balling tool to work in a mouth and then I work in some fur lines.
And when that's done, I can add the head to the body. I make two little rectangles for the ears. I'm just using my finger to flatten the center of each. And I add some of my lighter brown modeling paste to the center. And I use a cone tool to stick them together. I can then line them up to each other so I can make sure that I cut them both the same size and then I can attach them to the top of the head. Now I need to paint the little acorn before I add the arms. So I dilute some brown food gel with a little clear food grade alcohol. I paint the cone first just brushing upwards to give me one way lines. I then darken the colour and paint the other part of the acorn. I had to take my time with this and make sure that I got the paint into all them little triangles that I carved in. The arms are quite basic. I roll out a cord that is thinner at one end and create a slight bend for the elbow. I flatten out a hand and stick it in place. Then I just add some fur lines to the back of the arms. Now I just take a tiny cord of dark brown modelling paste and stick one in each eye socket so it looks like his eyes are closed. I use the same modelling paste for the nose and inside the mouth. And of course he needs some teeth, which I add with a tiny square of white fondant. Now the last thing I want to do is just add a little dry rainbow dust so that it's not just one flat colour. And there he is. What should I name him? Okay, so that's it for this week, guys. He is quite cute, isn't he? Make sure you come back next Wednesday for something completely different. And if you haven't, please do subscribe to this channel. It really helps me out a lot. So I will see you next Wednesday. Thanks, guys. Bye.